All right, folks, let's talk about what you are gonna do in this lab. First of all, you have what we call a gas collection apparatus. And the way this works is you have a vessel that you're gonna do the reaction in. So this is called an Erlenmeyer flask. And what we're gonna do is put a small piece of Alka-Seltzer in the Erlenmeyer flask, and then the reaction will take place. We'll talk about the products of that reaction, but one of them is a gas, and the gas is carbon dioxide. So what happens is as soon as you put that Alka-Seltzer in there, you put the top on, and the, or the cap, I should say. So any gas that's produced is gonna go up this tube, and then what you wanna do is collect it in your graduated cylinder. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna fill up our graduated cylinder with water. You wanna get it not quite to the top. You wanna leave a little space there, probably about a quarter inch or so, maybe a half inch. Now in our pan here, and I know you can't see this, the water is filled up right above our centerpiece. So the water is about here. So when we invert the graduated cylinder, what it's gonna do is it's gonna be submerged in water. So any gas that enters this tube will push that water out of the tube and will collect the gas in the graduated cylinder. So to do that, you need to be, it takes a couple tries. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, we're gonna flip it upside down and try to lose as little water as possible and then set the graduated cylinder on our centerpiece. So here's how it's done. You just do a quick flip and then we put that on our centerpiece. And I don't know if you can see it this well, but our beginning water value then is right there or level, I should say. So I would mark that at 29.5 milliliters. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my tubing and I'm going to put it under the centerpiece so the tubing is in the graduated cylinder. Maybe you, maybe you can see it in there. Whoops, and this, you know, again, you need to try this a couple of times because there is definitely a technique to it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is hold that there because it's not staying on its own. I'm gonna put my Alka-Seltzer in there and then put the lid on or the top on top as fast as possible. So I put it in there, I put the top on top, I swirl it around, and that reaction is taking place. And you can see, maybe you can see, the bubbles are forming in there. So as that carbon dioxide collects inside this tube, it's pushing that water level down. Now you're gonna need to try this a couple of times because there are some intricacies here and some uh, details you have to pay attention. How much water you have, how much, how big is your Alka-Seltzer tablet, etc. So what you wanna do is use enough Alka-Seltzer Alka -Seltzer, to bring that level down as far as possible, but not going past the 100 mark. Otherwise you won't be able to uh, measure it. So then we're gonna measure the difference between where we started and where we ended up. And that's going to be the volume of carbon dioxide collected. When you're done, you can just go like that. The water will drain in and then you can do another trial. Just make sure when you go to get your masses, everything should be dry. So you wanna make sure this is all dry, the beaker, or I'm sorry, the Erlenmeyer flask is dry, etc. Because while you're doing this, if you drip water on the flask, now you've changed the mass of that flask. All right, so we'll see how this goes, and then we will go from there.